हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ गेट 2014 क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क्स फोकसिंग ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ टीसीपी कंजेशन कंट्रोल सो एज आई सेड इट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक टीसीपी कंजेशन कंट्रोल एंड हेयर वी आर विद अनदर क्वेश्चन ऑफ गेट 2014 व्हिच इज अ टू मार्क क्वेश्चन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद दिस क्वेश्चन इट सेज लेट द साइज ऑफ कंजेशन विंडो of tcp connection b 32 kb when a timeout occurs so this is the size of size of congestion window when a timeout occurs okay now what do you sense when you get this line that when a timeout occurs it basically mean that now you need to find out a new threshold and now you need to set the window size to minimum right now that minimum may be 1 mss which is maximum segment size or it might be the minimum segment size given to you in the question itself so uh, when i say minimum question uh, segment size i am basically directing you all to the previous question discussed by me in the previous session which was from gate 2012 so you can please view that one that was also a very important question again from the same topic so let's come back here and let's see what is next in this question they say the round trip time of the connection is 100 millisecond and the maximum segment size used is 2 kb so the ma maximum segment size is given in bytes is 2 kb that means how much is this if i compute it in terms of maximum segment size i just have to divide 32 by 2 which gives me 16 so this is 16 mss so please uh, note down that i'm going to refer maximum segment size as mss in this video so then the time taken by the tcp connection to get back to 32 kb congestion window is so you need to find out the time after which the window size again becomes 32 kb or 16 mss So that's all what the question is let's start with the solution okay so first of all i write down the things which are given in the question important things which i'll be requiring while solving this question so we have time out occurs at 32 kb window size that means the threshold at this point is 32 kb by 2 which is 16 kb which is 8 mss which is 16 by 2 right because 1 mss is 2 kb given there in the question okay then transmission after the time out with this is so since no uh no fragment size fragment size which is given in the question is 2 kb so i take the negligible or the smallest fragment size as 1 mss so that means the first transmission after this time out is going to be of 2 kbs which is 1 mss then the second transmission will be 2 mss right because uh after we set the window size to the minimum we again start the multiplicative um increment process so we might keep multiplying the size by 2 right by 2 so 1 mss then 2 mss third transmission is with 4 mss fourth transmission is with 8 mss now here we reach the threshold so we multiply by 2 till we reach the threshold after we reach the threshold we now start the linear increment process okay so now linear lenient increment phase starts and now the fifth transmission is with 9 mss sixth 10 seventh 11 now up till where do we need to reach we need to reach 32 kb which is 32 divided by 2 was 16 mss we need to reach 16 mss so 6 10 seventh transmission 11 8 12 mss 9 13 and we reach there with 12th 12th transmission is 16 mss so we reach it here now they asked us the time after after which we reach this so 12 transmissions one transmission means one round trip delay and the round trip delay is given to us as 100 millisecond right so 12 transmissions will take 12 rtt round trip time which is equals to 
12 into 100 milliseconds which is 1200 milliseconds or you can say 1.2 seconds so that that is the answer for this question which was gate 2014 two mark question and i'm going to see you all with some more important questions so till then stay tuned and keep working hard for gate 2019 right all the very best for your preparation stay tuned thank you all